On this channel, I talk about your real estate questions and concerns, delve into the lifestyle of the Pacific Northwest, and explore some interesting recreational and entertainment options. Today, we will be going through a neighborhood of mine that's part of the Biking the Burrows series uh, of mine, which is downtown and uptown, favorite area neighborhood, one of my top seven picks. It will be including the waterfront, it will be including Arnada Ho. Um, in Esther Short, which is the park I'm in right now. I'm in Esther Short Park. The region has an average livability score of 73, which is considered excellent. However, crime skews 50% higher than the rest of the city, mostly because of higher rates in the Ho area. Cost of living is 2.6% less than the rest of Vancouver. Current median home prices at the time of posting were 420,000. Five Acre Gem in the heart of Vancouver, Esther Short Park is the oldest public square in the state of Washington where many cultural activities and events take place. So one of the nice things about living in the uptown downtown region is the closeness to different cafes, restaurants, airplanes. <laughs> um, this is kind of a direct flyover for PDX. So occasionally you will hear a 747 overhead. Um, but it's also a good spot for coffee for eating, for shopping, and exploring. Next to the water are many recent additions, including the Marriott AC and Indigo Hotels, as well as the new El Gaucho Restaurant and Witness Tree Lounge. downtown waterfront next to Columbia River. There's a nice park down here, lots of green space, several restaurants, also wine tasting areas. Airfield Estates Winery we're going by right now. Also some really first class restaurants here. Um, Twigs is down here. Climate Valley Vineyards is down here. Wild Fin is down here. This is the Grant Street Pier, which is kind of an overhanging cable supported view area. Really nice at sundown or sunset. Usually there's a lot of people out here on a good day. This is a fall, late fall afternoon, so that's probably why we're not seeing a ton of people out here. Just off the waterfront, this remembrance wall with paintings from the Clark County Mural Society is a tribute to the veterans of foreign wars. Midweek downtown sidewalk cruising can be pretty quiet.
Bicycle routes along McLaughlin and F Street provide additional recreational opportunities and access to and from the neighborhood. That's the Kiggins behind me, one of my favorite stops in downtown Vancouver. They show second run movies, sometimes first run movies. I've seen some ski flicks, Warren Miller movies there. Good time. Ho and Arnada are some of the city's oldest neighborhoods with predominant architectural styles dating back to the early 20th century. There is also a contemporary mix of smaller and larger apartment complexes sprinkled in. Almost 60% of housing units are owner-occupied. So servicing the uptown, downtown district, including Ho, Arnada, and Esther Short is Ho Elementary, which ranked nine of 21 in the school district, but also ranked fourth in the school district for student to teacher ratio. It's also home of the Ho Hawks. In 2003, part of the region was listed on the Washington Historic Register, encompassing the largest collection of still standing pre-World War II housing in Vancouver. Other significant features in the neighborhood include John Ball Park providing open space for recreation, community gatherings, and entertainment. So Arnada and Ho, we've got Uptown Region with a lot of older homes, some smaller, some bigger, some bungalows, some Victorian, some craftsmen. Every once in a while you'll come across one that isn't as well kept up. Most of them for the most part are pretty well kept up. Very nice neighborhood, especially as you get closer to the core of downtown. So Uptown Village, 21st and Main Street, all along Main Street here there's lots of shops, there's breweries, there's tap rooms, there's restaurants, all kinds of good stuff for your evening entertainment if you so desire. Next time you're needing help finding a great new home or investment opportunity, call, text, or email so we can address your unique situation. Contemplating the sale? Contact me for a free, accurate market analysis of your property. The major connector between Washington and Oregon finally has funding for replacement to include more traffic lanes, mass transit infrastructure, and seismic safety upgrades. Still scheduled for public hearings and decisions on design, construction could start by late 2025. Partial funding will likely come from early tolls on both I-5 and I-205 crossings.